years ago in Kitchener, Waterloo, a young French ice dance team debuted. Sophie Magnotte and Pascal Lavanchy. And they placed fifth. Last year in Makahari, Japan, Sophie and Pascal danced their way onto the podium with a silver medal performance at the 94 Worlds. And we saw them first at Junior Worlds eight years ago. France with a great tradition in ice dancing, the Duchesne's Magnat Lavanchy, and two in the top four here, Isabelle Delobel and Olivier Schoenfelder are currently in fourth place, just one spot ahead of Canada's Catronio and Bradshaw. Barb, you mentioned earlier in our coverage about the fact that ice dancing has come back to its more traditional roots. And it seems that many of the coaches have decided that they'd like their skaters to skate to a somewhat of a Spanish theme or Spanish-type music. Because what it does for these young ice dancers is it gives them a very definite beat to work with. And that's what the ISU wants ice dancing to be about. are only doing three minute free dances so you're certainly not going to see the degree of fatigue set in that's why all of these programs are finishing so strong you mentioned the lack of difficult transitions there was also a lack of difficult footwork steps and when you compare this free dance with the russians certainly in a different league in terms of difficulty well they do a lot of things well they do move well together they do present the program quite well it's just a question of working on the material that will put them in a more difficult league in terms of technical difficulty. We mentioned the tradition of the French in ice dance. They've won medals in this event three of the last four years. Technical merit marks range from 5.1 through 5.4. And the artistic compression marks 5.2 to 5.5. So that will keep them above the Canadians, Catroni on Bradshaw, but not enough to move up on the Polish team. Next up is Stephanie Guardia, Trans La Puerta. The other French team in